world where players routinely wager one dollar too much, there's only one force that can stop the madness. This is the final wager. This is a really fun game today. Two very aggressive players. Arthur doubling up halfway through the double jeopardy round, finishing in front of Julie, who made a very good late charge. And Caesar is in third. He's still in contention. Start with first and second, Julie and Arthur. Julie doubles up. And it's not really working. She's got 37,200, meaning that Arthur will need to wager 17,200. Easy math with that 20. If he gets it wrong, he's going to be left with 2,800. So Julie, to stay above that, can wager up to 15,800. And Caesar can wager up to 6,200. Now for second and third, we look at Caesar and Julie. Caesar doubles up, he's going to have 18,000. Julie wants to stay above that, she can wager up to 600. So she's going to have a choice to make. Because, rule number three, to cover a zero wager by Arthur, she'll need to wager at least 1,400. And then to cover an unsafe wager by Arthur, she'll have to double that to make it 2,800. See if Arthur wagers 1,400, which is the max he can wager, so as not to fall below to at least pre-Final Jeopardy score. He'll have 21,400. Difference there, 2,800. So Julie has that choice to make. Nothing in between really works. If... Arthur thinks that Julie's going to wager only the 600. He can wager up to 800. I wouldn't really consider that too much. That's not a very confident take, especially against a player as strong as Julie. I can't believe Arthur wagered for the tie. That's the first time I think that's happened all year where a player didn't need to wager for the tie but did. Is that a tactic that he intends to use? It's really cool to see this happen. I'm excited to see if he does it again tomorrow or... He just wanted to see Julie one more game. Join me and find out on the final wager.